Hi there, Pisces. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces for the week of December 11th. This one doesn't resonate so much. Go ahead and check out your natal chart, my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every sign for an entire month. And I will be taking private readings after the first of the year. Okay, so looking at the overall energy here, I think there is some confusion in this connection. We've got the Seven of Cups, which is, you know, I'm confused. I'm trying to figure this out. I don't know what I want. It's maybe trying to choose an option. That's kind of echoed for me here with this Four of Cups. Four of Cups is like, I don't like the options available to me, or I'm not really sure what I want. I don't know if this is you or the person that you're dealing with um, who is confused about what they want. We've got the Six of Wands in reverse. Six of Wands in the upright is being recognized, it's being seen, uh, being celebrated, it's a big win. In the reverse, it's feeling defeated. It can also mean like ignoring somebody. So maybe you're feeling like this connection is crashing and burning. It could feel like you're just not getting what you want out of it, or maybe this person isn't getting what they want. And we've got the Hanged Man, Major for Pisces. This is your Major Arcana. This is your energy, well, one of your Major Arcanas. The Hanged Man is also about seeing things from a person's perspective, getting a different view. You can see that she's upside down. There's this light around her face, which symbolizes uh, illumination, um, clarity in the tarot deck. So I do think that there's like a change of mind or a change of heart happening or figuring out what they want or what you want going on here. All right, let's take a look at your person a little bit closer. So far, we've got the Four of Swords, which is sometimes it's resting, it's healing, it's taking a break from somebody. Maybe this person is doing a lot of thinking here. That Four of Swords is sometimes like, I need a timeout. I need to gather up my thoughts, figure out where I'm going or what I'm doing. So tell me about this person. Ooh. So we have the star. I had to cover up the nudity for YouTube. The star is Aquarius energy. It's about healing. It's about uh, hope for the future, being optimistic, manifesting. I get the sense that this person is thinking a lot about you and this connection. Yeah, we've got the nine of wands. That is the wounded warrior. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Um, maybe a lot has gone down between the two of you. This person needs to put things into perspective. The good news about that card is it's like, I'm not going to give up on this connection. I'm willing to fight for it. Yeah, we got the eight of wands too. Hold on. This is definitely someone who's not giving up on this connection. Eight of wands is movement. It's momentum here. It's some messages. I think that this person's going to reach out and contact you. Ooh, and they've got a lot to say. We got the Ten of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands can be emotional baggage or emotional burdens. It's someone laying it all out for you. They're not going to carry that heavy load. They want to share things with you. Oh, and you have the truth. Ace of Swords is openness. It's honesty. It's maybe like a reveal. It could come out of nowhere. Um, they've been doing a lot of deep thinking about you and this connection, I think. Uh, let's delve into this a little bit more. Okay, so what is up with this person? Okay. Ooh, we got the Five of Cups. They've got some regrets about the past. They wish they had done things differently. Cups are always about emotion and relationships. 
This is someone looking at the past and regretting some of their decisions or how things ended. I got the Five of Pentacles. Being alone, isolated. Um, this person could have walked away from this connection. You may not have heard from them in a while. They could also feel like they're not enough. Like they're working on themselves. There's that card again, the star, Aquarius energy. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius here, or this person is needing to heal themselves, or it's like they want to heal the connection with you. I think they want to be very open and honest here, maybe tell you some things that you don't know. That Ace of Swords. Ooh, hold on. We've got the Devil in Reverse, Capricorn energy. I hid the nudity here. This person could have acted in very karmic or toxic ways in the past. It's possible that they had a karmic connection with someone else and that impacted your relationship. Or the devil can such like, it can be someone who drinks a little bit too much or they gamble too much. Or they're very into like sex or unhelpful patterns. They're their own worst enemy. I wonder if this person is trying to break like a destructive cycle that the two of you have, behavior that this person exhibits. It's like they want to heal this and heal themselves and, and work on the connection with you. They may have some stunning things to say here. Like that Ace of Swords is a deep down truth. Um, they've been doing clearly a lot of thinking and figuring some stuff out. See? All right. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse. This is someone who's gotten some clarity on the situation. They're looking to give some clarity here. And we have the Chariot, Major for Cancer. Uh, someone coming towards you, wanting to move forward here. Could be a long distance connection. Let's do how this person feels about you. So how does this person currently feel about you? What are the current feelings here? Ooh, we've got the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. It's someone who's very impulsive. Sometimes the Knight of Swords can be someone who fights with you or who's angry with you. And then look at this, we got the Ten of Pentacles. I wonder if this person did something impulsive. Maybe there was this huge argument with you or they ran away from having this discussion. Uh, the Knight of Swords is sometimes an angry figure it can be someone who thinks before or who doesn't think things through. They just kind of say what's just on the top of their mind. And that Ten of Pentacles is a very long-standing connection with someone. It's stability. I think they see a possibility for a future here. All right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button. We're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, and the unknown. All right, blessed be.